we're going to quickly be going over online communities, the implications. So the list I have here is privacy, meeting needs, security, cost, and user experience. Now this is for individuals. And for organizations, it's going to be customer needs, security, current systems, productivity, implementation, working practices, employee and customer experience, and cost. So for privacy, we know what privacy means, but for computing, uh, for computer science, for IT, it's going to be personal information accessible by others. Now, because it can be misused, not everyone should have access to all these details. So those same online services we mentioned earlier, they're usually free. So most social media websites are actually free. However, you do have to accept some level of adverts. So for example, Facebook actually collects a lot of information on you and they'll try to market you items or even articles that you might like based on your previous search history, browsing history in general. So even though it is free, they still make money from you through ads and targeted ads specifically. So for me, I'm always looking for IT technology. So they might say, okay, well, here's a new website that sells SSDs or hard drives, memory, uh, new computers, right? So next we have user experience. And under user experience, we're going to have ease of use, accessibility, performance and availability ease of use simply how easy it is to use the features that have been implemented do you have to learn a completely new system if you've used similar systems before so you've used windows 7 8 um, 10 you should really know how to use windows 11 if you have to learn a completely new system from scratch might not be the best accessibility so can people with disabilities use it so windows 10 11 7 8 all the versions of windows that have come before it they have, for example, high contrast um, settings. So for someone who might have issues with sight, they can still read and see stuff on screen because we have high contrast text. Next, we have performance. Is it going to be slower or faster than the thing we had previously? So upgrading to Windows 11 has been troublesome for many people. So it might not make sense because some people do take a big performance hit. So going back to performance quickly, some services have, have actually moved over to using apps instead of the websites. Even though the websites are still available, they normally don't have as many features. Uh, it's, not, it's, it's not normally as good in some cases. So, for example, the Facebook website got very slow years ago because it just had so much on there. So now they've actually created dedicated apps for iOS, Android, and a few other operating systems where... Um, the apps target those specific mobile devices so you can do things a lot quicker compared to using the entire website which has all the features readily available right there and then it does move a bit slower sometimes availability is going to be an issue if you don't have either an internet connection or even a good internet connection because all of these services are online services or cloud-based services you have to have a connection to the internet so if you don't have a connection to the internet, none of these social media wikis, um, forums, none of them will work properly. You might be able to view stuff that has been saved. So if you viewed something before, it might be saved somewhere in storage. But the new stuff that comes out, you will never be able to view it unless you have a connection to the internet. Meeting the needs of its users. So do these services on social media, for example, allow users to communicate the way they want, communicate um, by organizing events the way they want? Because social media now has been or has become the main way for people to communicate many people don't call each other anymore it's normally social media so do these services actually allow you to do what you want so if, if it's a wiki can we work together can i save my work can i view your work can i edit your work if it's a, a forum can i start a new topic can people post under that topic can others comment like share what whatever the case is right so we have to meet the needs of the user what do i need social media for personally i only have whatsapp i don't have any other social media so for me i need to be able to make phone calls because i have family and friends all around the world i need to be able to send photos and videos pictures audio files because it's a lot more convenient to do that rather than by doing it via email i need to I don't know, have something that's relatively lightweight so it doesn't drain my entire battery if I use it all day. So those are my needs specifically. So security kind of links to privacy. However, security is normally going to speak about information um, and your or that service being hacked. As we know, some social medias have been hacked numerous times and people's personal details have been stolen. And a lot of the times, the information that is stolen is very detailed. So a social media website might have your name, your address, your date of birth, your, 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 your photo maybe, where you work. It might have quite a bit of information. And people can actually use this 
even if it's shared too much, people can use this information to actually go out and, again, create bank accounts, create fake accounts, take out loans in your name because they have all your details. So imagine someone has your name, your address, your date of birth, where you live, where you work, um, maybe the name the name of your kids or your wife or husband, then they can actually go out and do more or less anything they want because they can simply call up a company saying they're you and, and give the details that, that the company wants. And that's it. The company doesn't normally check in most cases. Once everything sounds okay to them, then they're good to go. All right, so we have more or less similar things for organization use. So again, I'm going to quickly mention them. So we have customer needs, security, current systems, productivity, implementation, working practices, employee and customer experience again, and we have cost. So let me just quickly go over these. I'm not going to show them on my screen because we can quickly um, decipher what's necessary based on the terms used. So customer needs, does the customer... Can the customer do what they need to do? Can we communicate with the customer easy enough to help them? So that's for an organization. For security, even though it falls under individuals and organizations, an organization has a legal responsibility to keep your data secure, to make sure that their security systems are relatively up to date so that it is not as easy as, oh, I can create a fake email and password, log into the system and get access to everyone's details. We have current systems. So we may need to transfer data from one to another. When, you, when you're upgrading your phone, then you have to go from an iPhone, I don't know, 10 to an iPhone 11. You, you can simply migrate that data. It has to be more or less the same. Because imagine if Halifax, they buy new computers there, they're upgrading their entire system, but all the customer details from the previous system, the older system, has to be deleted. So they have no new, no customer details, and they have to call in every single person and fill in all that information again. That probably wouldn't be the smartest thing because that's gonna cost them time and a lot of money. Next we have productivity. If the system being implemented is productive, that means people can do what they need to do, then that's wonderful. If it is not as productive as let's say the previous systems, it might not make sense to upgrade and it's gonna cause a lot of problems for employees. So imagine I wanted to do something that normally took me five minutes because everything was in place in the previous system, but now the new system, the same task, takes me 10 minutes that means i'm not being as productive i'm not producing as much as i used to produce in the with the previous system implementation so with implementation we have to think about the time it takes to get the system up and running so if getting the new system takes me 10 minutes to log in every morning instead of one minute on my social media that's that's not very good that's not going to work extensive testing might also be needed to make sure that we catch any errors and this again is going to take time and time is money Working practices, if we have to change the way we work drastically for the newer system, it's again going to make us not as productive. I'm going to just mention cost because even though many social media sites are completely free, you might have to pay for um, advertising if that is something you want. If it's not something you want, you could create your own ad, ad campaigns. You could follow as many people as you want to follow um, and people would fo follow you back and you wouldn't have to pay anything. However, even though that's free, Normally, companies have a marketing section or they have to contact a marketing company and that marketing company is a company that then has to maintain the presence online. So that company has to go through and make sure that they're making posts every day, every week, every month, however often to keep cost customers coming back, to keep customers interested. So that's generally what I wanted to go over there for the online community's implications. So implications is simply the conclusions that we can draw from the information that we have. So when someone says, what are the implications of this? We, we can draw a positive uh, conclusion or we can draw a negative conclusion. So the implications of, let's imagine I have £10,000 and, and I, I want to buy the best laptop in the entire world, which costs like £5,000. What, what are the implications of that? Yes, it costs £5,000. I'm going to be £5,000 down. I'm going to have £5,000 less. I'm going to be £5,000 poorer, let's say. However, if that £5,000 allows me to be super productive, it has, it, it has really good security. It is super fast. When I edit my videos, I don't have to even wait for them to export. I click export and they finish within five seconds, right? That might make sense. So we have to look at the, both the positive and negatives when, when the word implication comes up. Now, I am going to try and do a video where I go over those key terms. So analyze, implications, impact, uh, evaluate quickly before the exam tomorrow. I know it's a bit of short notice, but it's been a busy week, so stay tuned.